of other places. Not That's an aspect. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, what they do is you know, they get people in China to work for, for way lower than people in this country would want to work for. I'm just thinking, you know, is there a way that they could, everybody could be on a, on a good level? You know, sure. uh, but wouldn't that be really a lower level for this country? When the people here got like that? If it's that? worldwide, yeah. No, no, know? there's no question about that. So and if we thought of, if we thought about things in terms of, um, just as an analogy, right? As you say, people being at a level, uh, we'll make an analogy of level to um, consumption of hydrocarbons. Oh, yeah. Right? Americans yeah. consume an incredibly high number of hydrocarbons. Yeah. And if we're going to get to a world that's sustainable, yeah. we'll have to consume less yeah. as people consume, other people consume more. And now, the other thing is happening. And we can't stop that. We've set in motion that happening, and there's no way that's going to be stopped. So, are we going to make things worse, or are we going to make things better? We have to come down in our consumption. That's just a fact. So we're not doing it, and you know, psychology is in full effect. We're doing everything to pretend like we really care about changing the environment. So every corporation has an ad that talks about how good they are oh, for yeah. the environment. Yeah. It has nothing Green one. substantially yeah. mm -hmm. is changing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You know, where are all the car factories for the new cars? Where are all the factories for the new trains and rail? Yeah. Sure. Where are all the factories for the new geothermal? Yeah. Where where are they? Sure. Where's the improvement of the infrastructure so we can have a green infrastructure? Where is it? We just talk about it all the time. Even the windmills, where are they? I see a few. Yeah, five. Why aren't there some on every roof, on, on every rooftop? Okay, Aaron, have you ever been to Wyoming County? There's a lot of them out there. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not saying, I hear what you're saying, but the point is, I had the same thing, because I only saw the ones at the lake, until yeah. I went to Wyoming County. Well, and there are so many there that there are, for example, the town of Sheldon in Wyoming County, they produce so much electricity that they give a check every month to all of their residents. Oh, nice. So what I'm saying is, is that there aren't many, there aren't that many here. But if you go into the rural counties in New York, they're all over the friggin' place. The distinction is, is like I said, have you been? Do we hear about it? No. no. I'm sure. Are there enough? Ten years ago in Miami County, there were ten windmills, just like yep. there are right here yep. on the lake. Wow. Now there's, it's close to a thousand. That's good. Oh, wow. Ontario as well. Of course. Oh. Iowa. But I, mean, I, think what she, I think what she's saying <laughs> is that in some areas, some of these policies are moving forward. Yeah. And it has a lot to do with the specific areas and the policies. For example, I was down in Fredonia at a mm -hmm. fracking, uh, I was even in talk about fracking, and they were talking in, uh, in Fredonia, they're changing policies to bring these large scale wind projects into Lake Erie down there. And they were saying, how much they have to fight with New York State, and they were showing how just right across the the lake on the other side on Canada, Canada just announced two months ago that they are creating in London, Ontario, the largest windmill factory in North America. Right. They're hiring six thousand right. wow. employees, six thousand employees at very high levels to build massive wind turbines because they alone in Ontario are planning on doing twenty five percent from just wind in the next ten years, and their their money is where their mouth is. Here we talk about it, but there ain't no big factories coming to Western York because it's talk. I think also in terms of like trying to rip up the racial, social, class contract to the economic contract in terms of how the U.S. economy or the Western economy is based at this time. The strength is measured in consumerism rather than manufacturing. So yeah. Oh, yeah. it's going to be very difficult to go back in the paradigm and then like a, you know evolve into a third paradigm, which would be more constructive. Well, I would say to that is we have a paradigm, and what we have to do is talk in terms of it as we transition to a new paradigm, right? So we can talk just like I did about reducing our consumption. Mm -hmm. That's what you say to consumers. Yeah. Yeah. Why do we have to grow and grow and grow and grow? Why does the economy have to exactly, grow yeah. constantly? Why because is it just we're balance? Being, yeah, we're being constantly. told that over and over and over. And over so, again. so besides Measures. education, no, uh, like the public education, we also have mass media. Why do that it would be another area that we could develop strategies towards.
you know, infiltrating oh, yeah. the message of mass media. That's hard. That's, that's hard. hard. But I mean, you just put on the radio. Those people reached out to people. You know, television. Oh, it's stunning to me. People like yeah. Rush Limbaugh who yeah. dominate the radio, and it's oh, yeah. commercial radio. Oh, it's oh, trash talk. On by the stations. Um, Chris, Chris I do have to tell you, I have to leave. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 50% of the people in this country, 50% of the people in this country live above the poverty level. So we have to grow and grow and grow until not 50% of the population lives below the poverty level. It doesn't have to be the case. It's not the only way. How? That's not the only way to those people out of poverty. How? You transfer the wealth you already have. There you go. Thank you. Okay. From whom? From one people who have the billionaires. The billionaires. The point zero 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 one percent who are allowed to give it up. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So maybe Warren Buffett will do it because he said he wants his secretary. It, it's stunning that tax, right? Romney could pay fourteen percent. Thirteen point seven. Thirteen. Point seven. Yeah. Did, yeah. They, did yeah. anybody? Did you all pay thirty two? That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Did anybody use the um, income calculator? And he hasn't worked. He hasn't I earned have. money in yeah. four years. It's all yeah. investment. It's all on the income four months. Calculator. Mine was like two days. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, 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 it's no, actually, mine was four hours. Oh, four hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Is that what he said? Yeah. yeah. We, we should, if we were concerned about fairness, yeah. we would be talking about how we would tax. Non physical labor, you know, oh, in, yeah. investment income That's right. at a much higher yeah. rate. Yeah. Stock transfer tax. Yeah. 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 The way we tax people who, you Sales know, work, they're going to be yeah. sick and tired at the end of all their, you know, a lot of people get sick from the work that they do. Right. I mean, you have to pay tax to, in order to earn the money, you have to pay a tax. In order to spend the money, you have to pay a tax. Does it make yeah. any sense? Unless you're rich. <laughs> Nader proposed that the speculation tax is one tenth of one percent on every trade, and, that would and be we enough. bring in something like sixteen yeah. billion dollars in just New York State alone. Absolutely, it used to be implemented in New York State decades ago, and right, right. Yeah. But that means that someone or some few would not have sixteen billion dollars. Oh. Yeah, and they're. And then, oh. <laughs> oh. oh no! Right? If we right? So we gotta fight. Oh. If we simply well, rely right. on a redistribution of wealth, yeah. do we not ultimately then get back into the problem of a nine-year-old telling his teacher, "Well, when I grow up, I'm just gonna sit around with my mom and get a check." Oh God. I don't think that's not a longer conversation we have to have. Yeah, that's a longer conversation. Right yeah. But that's an argument that I have every year when I go over Marx. What? They were all just going to sit around. Yeah, yeah. 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 If we have communism, the class, then there's yeah. no motivation. Excuse me, sweetie, the day that we get rid of capitalism will be the happiest day of my life. However, I don't think I'm going to live for the next 200 years. So in the interim, right. my argument is ethical, ethical, ethical communism. Yeah. Right. How about I said that wrong. Ethical, ethical capitalism. Okay. You know, and compassionate capitalism. But you're moving towards something best. If you could. Okay. I got you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. 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 Thank you.